with the Radar Studio, we still have two drive bays, just like we had in Radar 24, Radar V, and Radar 6. But we've reduced the physical drive size to half of the height for both bays. So you can put up to two drives into each bay for a total of four drives in the space of what previously was two. These are still high quality solid state drives, but you can now have twice the capacity of storage. And we've lowered the cost of the drives to half of what it was previously because we no longer have proprietary IS carriers. Now the new dual bay receiver holds the bare solid state drive. So it's really easy to plug it in and remove it. These drive receivers are also double the insertion rating of the previous Radar 6 uh, drives. The previous Radar 6 drives had a 25,000 insertion rated rating. These drives are also industrial grade, as you can see, key lock drive receivers, but they're dual bay and they're 50,000 insertion rating. So these are super high quality drive receivers. And I'll show you how easy it is to remove these drives. You just turn the key, you open the gate, and the drive pops out, and there it is. That's the bare drive. You can see there's the SATA power and the SATA data, and so that's the bare drive right out of the radar directly. So it's super convenient. You can, op you can pull out the second drive, and there I've got both drives removed. Now you see the IS logo, that tells you that this is a IS approved drive, it's got an IS warranty, and it's got a no questions asked return policy. We don't recommend that you just go and buy any drive, but if you're in a pinch and you need to go out and you've run out of recording space, you can go into Newegg or Fry's Electronics or the local uh, computer shop and you can just buy any solid state or mechanical drive and it will fit in these receivers. There's nothing proprietary about the way these drives are inserted. Um, but we don't recommend that because uh, any drives can have problems and when you buy a drive with an IS sticker you know that it's got the IS warranty and it's been tested and we stand behind it. We also have an adapter that goes on the end of this drive and, and then it has a three foot cable that converts it into a USB 3 portable drive. So this is really great if you want to transfer, transfer quickly hundreds of gigabytes offline you could still have the top record drive in and engaged and in record while you take the other drive out and transfer it to any laptop or server and that's extremely convenient just to give you an idea of how far we've come with drives this is the old radar 24 radar v scuzzy drive and radar 2 as well and it was an extremely reliable steel case and it had a 15,000 insertion rating but you can see now how small the drives have, have become. These are wafer thin, they're only seven millimeters thick, and they don't heat up and make all the noise that these made. That's why we recommend only solid state drives be used as record drives. You can use mechanical drives in the other bays if you want to use them for archive, and mechanical drives are pretty quiet, but we recommend if you're going to use slower mechanical drives, Plug them into the back panel USB ports or the front panel USB ports. Put them off to the side so that they are not making a lot of noise and they're quieter. But if you wanted to, you could literally put in a 120 gig or a 250 gig or a 512 gig solid state record drive in the top bay. Put a two terabyte mechanical drive in the second bay and then in bay three and four put another two terabytes each for a total of six terabytes, which is an incredible amount, incredible amount of storage so you no longer have to uh, connect your radar via an ethernet cable to, an, uh, to a server or to your laptop. You can just archive all of your, all of your uh, songs and all of your projects and all your multi-track sessions all right here in the radar. And then when you're ready, easily remove the drive, give it to the client.